Today's video will be looking at the release of Call of Duty Warzone and the fact that if you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber, you get your own free Call of Duty Warzone bonus pack. A lot of anticipation, a lot of hype surrounding this game. However, you must be aware of the fact that if you don't own Call of Duty Modern Warfare, a long freaking download does await you. Also, staying on the Call of Duty topic, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered rumor has uh, arisen again. And then we have Sony's PlayStation 5 DualShock 5 controller will catalyze increased demand for advanced interactive haptic experiences and immersion believes we'll go over that at the end of this video but we have the release of the free-to-play battle royale title the colossal battle royale game in call of duty warzone now if you are a playstation plus subscriber you'll gain access to a free combat pack earlier than anyone else downloadable from the playstation store this follows in the footsteps of apex legends and fortnite as detailed by push square which have also served up the same sort of bonuses at launch. While we don't know what pack contains just yet, if history serves us correctly, you'll gain free access to various exclusive skins to customize your character and weapons with it. Once we learn exactly what the combat pack contains, I'll be sure to give you guys an update and go over that. But if you're not familiar with Call of Duty Warzone, Activision has a pretty in-depth blog post out right now. Welcome to Warzone, a massive new combat experience where up to 150 players take the role of a veteran tier 1 operator and drop into the dense and sprawling world of Verdance. Warzone is a game changer packed with non-stop and endless action that's free to play and free for everyone. Warzone will be live tomorrow or today, uh, the blog post illustrated tomorrow, but now March 10th at 10 a.m. Pacific time as a one-time early access for Call of Duty Modern Warfare owners and launch a few hours later at 12 p.m. Pacific time free for everyone. Be of mind you don't need to own the full version of Call of Duty Modern Warfare to download, play, and enjoy Warzone. However, if you already have the base game installed, that being Modern Warfare, the download and install for Warzone is going to be a lot quicker than if you're just going directly into Warzone. It's going to be around 80 to 100 gigabytes to install Warzone standalone, but Modern Warfare, if you have that, it's going to be around a 20 gigabyte install, so it's going to make things a lot simpler. If you're just going into Warzone Raw, the issue is you're probably not even going to be able to play it today. You're going to have to download that 80 to 100 gigabytes, and for a lot of you guys that are on wireless connection, 80 to 100 gigabytes is going to be a significant download, and I don't know if the servers are getting destroyed right now with a bunch of people trying to download it, but I would imagine that to be the case. Whatever, you know with a game like this, a big online game, uh, there is going to be that air of it's a little rough around the edges for the first few, few days, but hopefully in the next few days, it does get smoothened out, and everybody can install the game no problem. At launch, players can squad up in trios with their friends on PlayStation 4, Battle.net for PC, or Xbox One across two game modes, Battle Royale and Plunder. In Battle Royale, fight to be the last squad standing while escaping the deadly gas in the swiftly closing circle with up to 150 players. In Plunder, the race is on to collect the most in-match cash by looting across the map taking down enemies to steal their cash and completing in-match contracts. Warzone takes place in an expansive city with multiple named zones and well over 300 points of interest. Each zone features a distinct landmark like Gogiar Lumbered Yard or the Gora Dam. The zones take place across different environment types like cities and rural areas for unique engagements. Change up to your drop location in each match to get a better lay of the land and take advantage of what Verdance has to offer. Need to escape the gas in the closing circle or get another zone? You can take a vehicle. You've got a plethora of different vehicles including ATV, tactical rover, SUV, cargo truck, and you can even get on a helicopter which is a four-seater and decent coverage flies. And the mechanics of Warzone are also uh, laid out. I'm not going to go over everything, but I do want to know contracts which are objectives oriented tasks players can find and activate across the world. A squad can activate one contract at a time and completing it rewards you in-match cash and other loot items. Multiple types of contracts exist including scavenger contracts where you have to find and open a series of supplies boxes and recon contracts where you must secure one location similar to Call of Duty's domination mode. In addition to in-match cash, contracts can give you special rewards like the ability to see the next circle collapse location before it starts to close and you've got buy stations in Battle Royale where collecting in-match cash isn't the objective. Cash can be used to procure beneficial items at buy stations and seamless play. Again, you've got cross play and unified progression across all platforms so that is great especially. I don't think it's going to be a case where the community Unity in this game dies off. I think there's going to be a healthy number of people playing this game regularly. However, especially for like a PC audience where Call of Duty isn't as big as say on consoles, I do think that's going to be rather beneficial. But given the fact it is a free to play game, 
I think this game is going to have a healthy, healthy community for a long time to come. And again, PS Plus members are going to get their own free bonus pack. So that's going to be very nice if you are on PlayStation Plus' subscription service. All right, keeping on the Call of Duty train, I do want to note that there are now new rumors regarding Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Writing on Twitter, Okami commented, Modern Warfare Remastered is releasing this year with multiplayer before adding, I think we'll be hearing about it sooner than people think. Modern Warfare 2 was originally released back in 2009, and for many people, it was the best game in the Call of Duty series. I'm still a little bit partial towards Call of Duty 4, and I even had some love for Black Ops 2. A lot of the early Call of Duty games I have fond memories of, but Modern Warfare 2 to many people is one of the best Call of Duty games, if not their favorite. The campaign was really good. Who, how can anyone forget things like the heartbeat sensor and all the good stuff in Call of Duty and, you know, nuke boosting and all that kind of stuff. I remember everything. I'm very nostalgic about this game even though I was a young lad when Modern Warfare 2 came out. It's a game that I definitely hold a special place in my heart, and I think a lot of you guys are the same way. And if you never played Modern Warfare 2, well, you can get back into the game. Hopefully, the multiplayer would be rather good, and hopefully, it does include a multiplayer component because there were also rumblings that it wouldn't have a multiplayer component, and it would just be the campaign. That would be a very, very unfortunate scenario if you remastered MW2 without a multiplayer component because... While the campaign was really good, as I mentioned, the multiplayer was definitely the standout, as it usually is. Alright, and lastly, I do want to talk a little bit about Sony's PlayStation 5 DualShock 5 controller will catalyze increased demand for advanced interactive haptic experiences, which we've been he hearing about for quite a while. According to haptic tech developer Immersion, Sony's PlayStation 5 DualShock 5 controller will increase demand for advanced interactive haptic experience. Back in May of 2019, Immersion and Sony entered a partnership to bring to Immersion's haptics technology to gaming and VR controllers. As covered earlier, Sony has confirmed that its PS5 DualShock 5 controller will pack haptics focus enhancements. This is said to bring gaming to a whole new level, creating sensations of pushing, pulling, grasping, and pulsing. Exact quote to note, research shows that haptics makes game come to life, increasing player satisfaction and enjoyment through peripherals and games enhanced with the power of touch, said Ramsey Haidamis, Immersion CEO, back all the way in May of 2019. We are thrilled to work with SIE, a true pioneer in gaming, to provide incredible experiences to their customers. We are pleased to reach agreement with Immersion, coming from Riley Russell, Chief Legal Officer over at Sony Interactive Entertainment, upon the announcement of the agreement between both companies. High quality haptics technology enhances the sense of presence and immersion for gamers, and this agreement is consistent with SIE's desire to provide the best gaming experiences to gamers around the world. During Immersion's most recent financial earnings call with investors, President and CEO Ramsey Hydamas mentioned the agreement between Sony and Immersion and talked about the anticipated revenue from its haptics techs in Sony's upcoming new DualShock 5 controllers, which are expected to ship towards the end of 2020. Also noting, in gaming, we continue to anticipate personal Sony's public statements, the release of its PS5 gaming console in the holiday 2020 timeframe. As we previously announced last May, SIE looked, uh, took a license to our haptics technology for gaming and VR controllers. We therefore anticipate revenue from PS5 controllers once shipments commence towards the end of the year. Of course, there is some murky waters right now with the virus and the PlayStation 5 coming out by holiday 2020. I think it ultimately will be released by holiday 2020. At worst, maybe we'll get limited supplies, which is going to be an S show altogether but it's definitely a story to monitor and he added by ending we also continue to believe Sony's new controllers will catalyze increased market demand for advanced interactive haptic experiences so a lot of information about the PlayStation 5 DualShock 5 controller DualShock controllers generally stay uh, foundationally the same controller to controller in terms of its look and aesthetic however if you actually look under the hood the PlayStation 3 we can talk about six axis, uh, six axis the PlayStation 4 we can talk about the touchpad the light bar whatever the case may be and it looks like with the PlayStation 5, there is going to be a lot of under the hood improvements as well, even though I do expect the controller itself to look fundamentally the same. Overall, it will be a relatively different controller. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, Call of Duty Warzone is out today. You can check out the PlayStation Plus members pack, the bonus pack when that does drop, and I'll let you guys know what that'll entail in the future. Uh, the game is a free download. Just be prepared if you don't have Modern Warfare installed, 80 to 100 gigabytes on that. And the PlayStation 5 DualShock 5 controller is looking to make a lot of major improvements upon the PlayStation 4. Most notably, uh, most notably, I should say, advanced interactive haptic experiences. So that's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.
Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.